Tommy Carping. Real fishing for real people. Morning. Welcome to the vid. Sorry about the thing. Got a bit of a sore throat. I've come to King's Nordley. Because there's carp, cats and sturgeon here. We're going to have a look. We're going to have a go. Go on the gauge for a day session. See what the crack is. Maybe we'll have our first sturgeon, eh? Starting for the bay lift now. Because I ain't been before, so I'm not sure where to go to get to it. It's going to give me some directions. Then we'll go and get it set up, yeah? Sweet. Right, so that's the bay lift for some directions. Right our way down to the gauge. Oh, man. Just follow this track to the end and it's there. Like every other fishery we come to. A few bumpy holes in the road. So we're just watching the car. Yeah, see you in a minute when we get there. straight away because it's raining really bad. Yeah. So I stuff out in a minute. We had a walk down, some guys give us some meat and that look, there's a bird now took it in too look. Oh he's gone just as I said it. But yeah man. It's quite chilly, it's a bit chillier than just sit here, warm my hands up for a sec before I sort everything out. Yeah? Come, we walk round, and everyone is fishing down the bottom end of the top side of the fish. You can't even see from here, but look. The guy there just had a fish. Guys there, there's some guys backing up on that point there. But we've got all this. Look, and the wind's coming this way, and the wind seems warmer than the temperature today, to be fair. Right, so we're going to give down here a Less angling pressure been on it as well. So yeah, we'll have a look. See what happens. Bye, babe. We'll have our first version. <laughs> Oh. 
Right, set the rods up some ash. Are you still in my videos before? Give me a little tip for you. And he says, use pepper army. So I thought, okay. So for going it. So we're gonna break it up. I didn't realise how hard it was to break. Oh yeah, and it does stink. I'm gonna bite it up. I'll put that bit on the air. Then we'll chuck the rest in. We brought three of them, so at least if it don't work, we've got another two to munch on. Right away. There, it seems like a pretty solid bait. Look, we've got a size four barbless up because the rules are barbless and Jura points. So, yeah, man, sit it there on the air, just add my boiling stop and the pepper on the next thing's all greasy straight away. Pepper army on the air. Looks sharp as anything. Now we just need a lead and we'll get her in. As usual, I'm using the four ounce lead dumpy pair that I had from Riverside Leads at like 95 pence a lead. Absolute bargain, so if you want to check them out, ran by Wendy, as I said before in one of the other videos, Wendy Parker. But yeah, man. The lead clips on, hands are all greasy, let's get it out. Bailiff come round just after, well, you've seen him on the video, but just after I'd put it out, he said, Oh, yeah, that spot's alright, but hot spots here, so. Always listen to people that know that for sure. No, I mean, he said break the freebies up really little. That's what we're doing. Really little. Just to make some rough. Hmm, alright, good move. Right, second rod, we'll get a little wafter on, we'll make a little PVA parcel and hopefully we'll get that out in the rain, it'll have to be rapid, moving down the right side of the hole and it's 
got a German rig on it. That's all went according to the airing, not the German. So, see what the crack is. That's my little Tommy's informal test. Eventually we'll publish the results when we've done it, but testing out a few little things. get this wafter on. Getting rid of some of our old bags before we move on to pastures new. So we're just crushing up some Scopex squid. Put a few in here. Let's feed around it. Just put the four crushed up. Just smushed a little bit. Then it nice and compacted. The scissors here. Chop it, chop it, chop, chop, chop. Chop till you drop, we did leave a bit of excess. So as you know, not the best fisherman in the world. I'm still learning. Every time we do this we're getting better, I've got mud all on my grey trackies, but what do I expect? I'll come out in the rain. But yeah.
I'm going to have to up this on and try and get it out rapid. Put round me up three times. Let's get it out quick, 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 quick. Let's go. Gone with this, we've got just to the right of that island there. Try to get rid of some of the old bait. Hopefully, it works. Here we go. in the net. First ever sturgeon. <laughs> Hello baby. Come on. Got the scales. Oh god they didn't have fresh there. Ooh. 25 pound. First ever sturgeon, £24. Real rod tips just bounced and the line's gone tight, but that might be the wind. But yeah, just check me hook afterwards. So I never used to check it, to be honest, it's just too easy, same rig. I just checked it and my hook's now blunt. So yeah, man, let's get a fresh rig on.
We've got a lead out wherever I've just put it. I've just literally put it down somewhere. That looks razor sharp. Sturgeon, the sturgeon. Yeah, the sturgeon. The minute, the minute, the sturgeon. Rod's back out and yeah, as you see, that's sturgeon. Gonna do some of these, only really come for the day. Mad one already, we're gonna do another little old school legendary runs water. Hopefully next week for a day to kick some of these, you can only fish on days. But we're gonna be getting about, doing some 24s and some 48s and that as well. We're doing, going to some carp and catfish waters. And see that we get some cats as well. Doing all of that, yep. So we've got loads of content coming up, it's gonna be fantastic. So if you like the channel, if you watch some of the videos, subscribe, except my normal voice as you can hear. We've got a little bit of a sore throat, but we're still out here. Not feeling the best, smashing it. Been an hour now since the last fish. Oh, I didn't say I just lie back in this chair chilling. I think I'm going to swap the rig on the right hand rod in a minute. Well, I'll give it 20 minutes till it's 11 o'clock and then we'll change it. Yeah. Try out this new rig. See what the crack is? Oh. That first picture, that first fish, weren't very good. I tried to take it with the SLR. Well, we'll take it from the other phone, I think. It's got 200 megapixel camera or something. And I got this button with my new tripod. Yeah, the SLR. I'll do that when I've got two people here. But yeah, I've got this button. So I'm going to do it whilst holding. You know what I mean? Give it a go. See if we catch another one. We'll try it. Right, so before we get the rod in, we'll get the bait on the rig. This is the rig, minute out of the monofilament, the main line, those using the 0.40. It's got an hook on, and if you look, it's from a Matthew Collins video search bomb proof rig. I've never tried a bait screw before. We're going to try it with this Scopex squid. 
see what the crack is see if it's any good so we're just screwing on yeah it's on solid and there we go bottom bite off he reckons it should never tangle No, it don't need to look. It goes around like that. Come back round. I'm going to get some point five ohm on how to try it with. But we'll try it with this as a start. we we'll get the other rod in a minute. See what the crack is. It's real back in and there's no lead on me, rig. We weren't drawing any line, it must have got plugged and come off as I reel back in. I had a take and the alarm never went off and it come come off, but I always test the alarms before every session. New lead on, oh, there we go, dangling perfect. New lead on, and we'll get it out. Had a real bat in and didn't leave it. See, ya. let's do it. So we're out of fishing, cast into the same place as the last, so I didn't put no extra bait out. Don't want to over bait. But yeah man, see how it goes, how this new rig does. I might kind of pull some scope X squid over there in a little bit. Had a knock, then the bobbin started going. I'll cut the video so you can see. Hit it. No, I think I should have waited for his cream off, really. 
but kind of excited, you know, to put it back out near the same spot. Hopefully, we'll have one from there. Realised I never checked the rig before I put it back out. Checked if the hook was well, checked that it weren't tangled, it weren't tangled, but I never checked that the hook was sharp still. So we're running a little bit of a risk with the hook not being sharp, but we've got faith. Oh man, the start of tie, as you've seen, lost it, come off at the net. It's the most gutting when it comes off at the net, isn't it? But, they've sent another tech, they might have another one yet. Never know. Caught one, lost one. Well, lost two, I think, but definitely lost one then. Activity, happy days. It's been about half an hour, I think, since that last time. Rain stopped to that a bit ago. Oh, one o'clock now. So, yeah, I had one and lost one. But we love it, hopefully. Let's have another one. I wanted to have one on that right hand rod. Come on, man. That's what we're talking about. We come here to do first ever sturgeon, new species. Know what I mean? It's all good, baby. But yeah, man. I don't know why I picked the boonie at today. I just fancied it, you know. Yeah. Probably stay three, four o'clock, then start packing up. Remember, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, drop me a like as well. Comment. Yeah, I'd appreciate all of that. I would really appreciate it. So I had a merchandise go www.tommycarpin.com or to see any other stuff we're putting up projects that we're doing there. Uh, all of that. And then follow me on the other socials, Instagram, TikTok, you know. Nice one. Thank you. Let's hopefully have another fish. It's happened again, same thing. 
don't know if it's liners, if it's big fish like swimming through my line or I don't know. But it moved quite a bit. I've just seen a show then, like some ripples, so I've cast it to that. A couple of odd lengths away from where I was. So that's what happens. But, yeah man. But the time's that something, the bobbin was literally going. I might have the screen next time. Seeing signs of fish closer in, what about rod length from where the pepper harbour is? And one, literally, two rod lengths in front of me. So I'm just going to bring that ring that I've got on the right and just further out in a bit. But I mean, because it's ancient, always cast to moving fish, to showing fish. I've gone on either side of the edge of that island, <clears throat> just a rod length off. Let's have a look. I've kept the pepper army on to be fair. Maybe I should have changed it for a boiler. But we'll see in it it's half past three. Yeah. Open for another fish. Oh, I'm nearly packed up. One rod left in. It's four o'clock now. I had one, lost one, and then had them other two runs. Sweet. It's gonna stay lighter, but spend some time with the missus, having a Sunday dinner and that. You know how it is. Let's get the last ride in. Right, so we've packed up, we're down going down the world's bumpiest line now. Let's try and navigate this carefully. But yeah. Good session. Caught my first sturgeon. Lost one, I had two runs where I ate it and nothing was on. Actually three runs where I ate it and nothing was on. But, yeah, great session. First sturgeon, 24 pound. Nice. New species, new string to my fishing bow. New experience, like, no, I mean. Yeah, if I'd have stayed lighter, i will probably had a couple more. So Bailey said, oh, you're leaving at the when it starts at the best time lot, but what was Sunday dinner man? See the babby and that, got stuff to do. Know what I mean? But you know what I like? I seen when I was coming this morning there was a lad with his dad. And then as I was leaving there was a young lad, well I say he's a young lad, he was drove there so he's like 18, 19, maybe 20, fishing. And he misses there in the brolly I like when I see people having them experiences, you know what I mean? Fantastic making memories and that. But yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, uh, like, comment, all that. And I will see you in the next one. She's a legendary runs water.